Hi there. My name's Henry, and I'm a member of the Data School's 27th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save a data source in Tableau, which is really useful if you're going to come back and use a data source multiple times. OK, let's jump into Tableau and get started. So this video is the fourth and final video in a four-part series where I talk you through combining data in Tableau. In part one, we talked about setting up relationships in Tableau. In part two, we talked about joins. And in part three, we talked about unions, all using the bookshop data set, which we have here, and I've linked down in the description. I'd strongly recommend that you go through videos one to three so that you can set up your data source to look as it does here on screen. However, if you don't want to go back and watch all three videos, then this will still apply if you're just looking to see how to save a data source. So we spent quite a bit of time in our previous videos setting up our relationships and our join and our unions, and now we have a data source which we're ready to bring into Tableau and start building some charts. Now the thing is, we don't want to do this process, which has taken place over three videos, every time we connect to the bookshop data source. So what we can do is we can save this data source and have it appear in our Save Data Sources section when we connect to data. That's this section here in the bottom left. So I'm going to click back on the Tableau icon there to bring us back to our data source. To save a data source, simply go to the sheet, locate the bookshop data source, which we have up here at the top of the data pane, and right click. Come all the way down and click Add to Saved Data Sources. What this will do is open up your Tableau repository. And in here, we can save the bookshop. We can give it a new name. I'm going to call mine Bookshop Edited. We're going to save it as a Tableau data source. We click Save. Now that we've saved it to our Tableau data sources, when we click on the Tableau data icon, we want to connect again. We can click on Bookshop Edited. And we will see, when we go to this data source, that it has all of the relationships, joins, unions, and renaming that we did in our previous videos. And that is how you save a data source in Tableau. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now understand how to save a data source in Tableau. Please check the description of this video for the links to the bookshop dataset and additional materials that you might find useful. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when we release more.